Hello and welcome to Floss Tube number three. Oh my god, I can't believe we're already at episode three. I mean, that means I've been doing this for six weeks. And well, I only release a Floss Tube episode every second week. And why do I do that? Well, um, I don't think I would have content enough to fill, you know, an episode once every week. I would love to release a floss tube once every week. At the, I think I, I've fallen all over in love with cross stitch. I've been doing it for years. I have my breaks every now and then. I had one over the summer when I discovered uh, diamond painting. And now I'm back at it and it's thanks to all these stitch alongs and we know who enabled us to join those. Rachel, feel guilty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love cross stitching and what makes me so happy about it is the discovery of, you know, new patterns, new designers and new artists uh everything is in the heaven and earth i love heaven and earth designs but it kind of makes me curious and happy and excited about uh you know giving me you know myself the permission to to try out other stuff uh, and other stuff can be just as beautiful as heaven and earth so um, today I will show you the progress of the three projects I'm working on. Um, what else? I, I'm going to show you stuff I've ordered from the last time. And I don't think I will have much to show next time I release a floss tube because unless I'm very lucky to get some of those hand dyed fabrics, then um, I don't, I haven't ordered anything new that I know of anyway. Um, yeah, and I was thinking to show you, I've, I found my old bag of cross stitch kits I have never started. I have, like I said, boxes of started, maybe I didn't say that, Never mind. I have boxes full of started heaven and earth designs. I have a small bag of finished cross stitch designs, which aren't, which aren't heaven and earth. Uh, so we could take a look at that. Um, I want to do a stitch along. I want to, I want to stitch, uh, and talk. So if you're inter interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. And do you want to watch some of the stitch alongs or do you want to see me try out some new patterns or old patterns? Or do you want to watch me stitch heaven and earth? And if you want to watch heaven and earth um, progresses and all this, well, then I would like to know which, um, I think I realized I put, no, no, um, like which, uh, design do you want to look at? And then you would have to know which ones I have. So we'll have to start with that. Uh, I'm going to rant a little bit or, you know, whine, um, I had someone uh, telling me, you know, when I was gaming a lot before in my younger days and, you know, as fast as someone was whining in text, this person always said, oh, hey, do you want some bread with that wine? Ha ha ha. But I want to whine a little bit because I have, per, per, let's start with the whining and just finish off with all the good things, right? I ordered a hand dyed fabric from Crafty Kitten in London. And I found out that the turnaround time for those fabrics were like a month. And then I was thinking because it, it's for one of the Mira, Mirabilia 
kids. I'm going to show you that because I didn't show you that last time because I just received an email. Anyway, anyway, I wanted a hand dyed fabric for that. It was a month to go to get it at least a month. And I was thinking, well, then Christmas is all over and this Mirabilia is like Christmas themed. And I was like, damn, I want to start it now and I want to stitch it until Christmas. So I got on Etsy because I was looking at the, oh man, what's that hand dyed um, fabric uh, website which is this uh, fabric comes from they, they work with the Harry Potter stitch along I can't remember the name now I will link it below she has great fabrics and she shipped fast and it it came quite fast but then you have the you know the customs and all that shit sorry excuse me and I didn't find a color I wanted for this Mirabilia. So I went to Etsy and I found a store and I found some awesome hand dyed fabric there. I was like, oh my God, I got to have this one. And I found another one I wanted as well, but I chose just to buy one piece. And I'm quite happy I didn't order more because I still haven't received it. I ordered it on the 22nd of November. No email, no tracking number, no customs, no, nothing. I have no idea where this fabric is. And yes, I have tried to contact the seller three times in three different ways. And I, I am not getting any respond. And that makes me very, very sad because in the comments at the store, I'm saying her, I don't know if it's a her, but in the comments, like 99% is awesome. Very great, great reviews and everyone is happy and all this. I found like one comment which said, do not buy from this seller. She doesn't, he, she, it doesn't respond to the mails and I actually think that this person did receive the fabric after a while, but they said it was crap. And well, I don't know. So I will just have to wait for that damn fabric and I will never ever buy from that person again. And as fast as I can leave a review, I will leave the review and it's not gonna be good. And if I still don't get a response before New Year's, I will let you all know which store it is. Um, maybe it's just us Europeans who have problems with the store. I have no idea. Anyway, excuse me. Um, let's get some coffee. Yeah, don't you think my Harry Potter uh, stitch along looks nice? I'm so happy about it. But when it's a lot of those repetitive, should we, should we, should we go over to look, take a look at the process? Let's do that. Yes, my Harry Potter. It's so nice. And I'm the kind of person who has a very hard time to not follow recipes, patterns, rules, whatever. So I noticed a lot of you people out there who's stitching this are making up your own ways of stitching the train, the castle, the owls. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, and the ones. Oh my God. Some of the ones in the Facebook group holy no i'm yes it's great they're awesome but no i'm not that creative actually i must say i follow the pat pattern i feel safe with that and the pattern the, 
the original pattern looks amazing i'm very very happy with it the only thing as i mentioned like the last time i think the contrast is too vague uh, i love the fabric but i don't know maybe sh i should have picked like a darker fabric i don't know but it's okay so i've done three of the letters since last time and i started on the fourth letter so now i don't know if i should just you know st stitch one letter when that letter is released because now i'm getting busy i'm getting real busy i have another stitch along start starting in january and that's pain's free stitch along go check that out because it's gonna look amazing i swear and i love that the stitch alongs this time they're all fantasy you know harry potter is fantasy fantasy and so is this uh stitch along on pain's free website i will link her stitch along down below i will stitch this stitch along down below and i feel i'm like ah all like this i get that I get like that when it's all about cross stitching and starting new projects and everything. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so was there anything else? Yeah, when you stitch like one letter and second letter and it's almost all the same and it's a bit hard to, <clears throat> yeah, the light. I try to turn on a light to get some better lighting but the light color is very difficult to see on this fabric and since it's like repetitive a repetitive pattern I get bored very easily yes. so I'm not sure I will stitch more on this uh, this year but you know I'm ready for letter one two and three Mm. I will show you the progress on my grandmaster, no, grandmaster supersized max color heaven and earth design. And I'm still on white, but I, oh, I, my god this frame is so huge I've stitched here you can see here I'm done with the with the neck so I'm done he has like three birds on top and if I remember I will put in the picture here or you will just have to look at the starting picture he has three birds on top I finished those with white his face is finished in white and all his neck part and now I'm down on his uh, jacket here and I I don't know why I just love stitching that way I know it's white on white it's a bit hard to see but not that bad because this is 25 count the Harry Potter is 28 count and I stitched that one over one silly and same with the 25 count is one over one but that's a lot easier i'm trying to put it back down into my millennium floor stand i don't remember the name of the floor stand on the millennium frames oh never mind but there's some very nice satisfaction satisfaction in extreme cross country stitching I don't know it's like for every page you're finished with it's like you will never go back to that page with that color unless you have missed a stitch which you usually do but with that new pattern keeper oh my god <laughs> life is so much easier you have to get the get get forget all the apple uh, products get some Android product and you know the pad and get 
that app if you're like a having an earth stitcher or a pains free stitcher or tilton or whoever has you know their patterns in that program and i figure out i just uh, no not figure out i i realized uh like the other week the other day some days ago that they have added the frogging uh, ability on the pattern keeper app it's awesome it's awesome go get it anyway yes oh my god i'm gonna have such problems um i'm not i don't know what i'm gonna stitch okay so that's <laughs> two of my projects and i have this mill hill kit which is cross stitching and beads And I've never done such a thing. Let's move my little needle finder. And this is how much I stitched since the last time. I don't know where's the best part. And I stitched quite a lot this weekend on on this one it's very easy it's small and i can't wait to get to beading so most of it on top is is done i know there is some kind of frame or something going around here but around here there here is the beginning of a teddy bear and then there's a bed with a child sleeping in the bed and then i can start the beading so it it's it's gone very fast because there has been a lot of color blocking excuse me <clears throat> very nice the the mill hill kits not so big very nice quality yeah i like them a lot and this is like christmas themed So, do I have to tell you the count on the Mill Hill kit? That was like a 16 count Ada. 16 count Ada. And what else? That's everything I've been stitching. I think I've made quite good progress considering how long it takes to stitch. And the funny thing is when you go from stitching and you're like, okay, now I need to go diamond paint to get finished with the project I have there. I mean, it goes so fast with diamond painting. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's, there's a difference. Um, yeah. So I'm going to pull out on my phone um, the new let's now I've I'm done with the progress talking. Now I'm going to talk about heaven and earth designs. What I bought from there recently. I've been waiting a while for this and I'm very, very excited and I cannot believe I haven't started this design yet. But I want to see if I can show you the picture on the screen here. Um, and I cannot believe I haven't started it yet. I cannot believe I haven't started it. What's it is. It is the supersized max color 
Once Upon a Time, no, Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart. Oh my God, wait till you see this. I think I will have to screenshot it. Oh yeah, I'm so prepared for this. I was actually going to have my pad for this. But it's way over there in the bed so I can't Nope. Okay. Can you see it? No, you can't. No way. No. This is not do doing this justice. You know what? Here's a picture um, of this design. Yeah. Yeah. Super sized. Max color. And I took a look at I think there's like 78,000 stitches of black <laughs> so that's the color I'm gonna start out with and I actually want to start um, make a YouTube video of you know me starting out this awesome huge design <laughs> which I will never ever finish in my life unless I set everything else aside. But to be able to stitch it, you need some fabric, you need some threads and stuff. And behind my Harry Potter, no, you can't see that, but I want to, I want to show you. So here, here are all my DMC floss. I don't have the latest 01230 something. Um, let's do like that. Yes, uh, I usually use those. I, I got a full set of DMC to, you know, be able to join stitch alongs fast. So I don't want to, you know, buy all these threads for the different stitch alongs. It's going to get way too expensive. So it's better to just, you know, finish that. Anyway, but for my heaven and earth designs, I usually know that's a lie. I don't usually get, but I prefer getting a thread pack for them. Now, getting a thread pack for this supersized Once Upon a Fairy Tale max colors so there's like 238 colors total and having them ma them making it you know make that thread pack over at this you know in the u.s wherever michelle sierra uh, is and having it shipped over to sweden in europe and paying customs and taxes and oh no, I think I cal calculated it to be around $400 in total. Yeah. Just shipping it is like somewhere between $80 to $85 for just the thread pack. Uh, no. They make wonderful, beautiful thread packs. They really do. And last year I earned a little bit of more money, so I actually bought some thread packs from them. And here's one. And it's for my grandmaster. Um, my grandmaster. And there's a, lo there's a lot of threads. I mean, so this is like one part of it. And they put it on these black plastic... Um, rings and they tie it up with a nice tie and you have your symbols and the DMC numbers and the cards are laminated 
and you know you get your information from heaven and earth designs and for which um, design it is for so i have a few of these but yeah if you can afford it and of course if you live in the states it's i would absolutely absolutely suggest get the thread packs you will always have you know threads for your kit and oh, look at all those colors my mm, i love it. it colors just makes me happy and what i realized also is beads they make me very happy as well i saw stone coal coffee crafts heike she has some secret new hobby which is beading i think like beading jewelry and stuff and when she just laid out all those bags of beads oh my god it, it looks mm, very nice anyway back to the supersized once upon a time no once upon a fairy tale anyway so i have a cone of black color 310 so i know yeah i ordered a kit from a place in England uh, where the prices are a lot different so I got an invite from her on Facebook and I decided to join I mean what harm can happen um, and she gave me a great offer for a thread pack for this amazing design so I needed to get some fabric and I'm gonna disappear for a while yes it's huge huge <laughs> it's so big it's like 36 by 54 inches or something it's insane and it's not the first time I get a supersized fabric. I think I have one, I think I have four designs which are supersized. So this is like half the fabric on the width. <laughs> and this is the, oh no, my God. Yeah. But this is my favorite um, fabric to stitch on for the heaven and earth. It's a 25 count. It's called the Easy Guide Even Weave. And, you know, you get a pre-gridded fabric and that's nice. You can just figure out where's the middle, where do I start, and you get started. <clears throat> So that's one purchase I did. So I want to start that. I, I mean, I've had that fabric since Friday and I still haven't started it. And it's because I want to make the YouTube, you know, to start on YouTube. And maybe, you know, people want to see me stitch that thing. So I don't know if you would prefer a time lapse or, you know, just progress talk like now whatever my god time is going ah. <laughs> time is running i need to uh, hurry up here okay so as i said i'm trying out uh, a beaded cross stitch no cross stitch with beads so the mill hill kit and i heard that this I'm impatient. It's called Wonder Wonder in Wonder Invisible Thread. I don't know. It's nylon. I heard it's pain in the ass to stitch with, but they say this is the best. You will never see it. And for my Mirabilia for my Mirabilias, I want to use this. So And then for the Harry Potter stitch along, 
I found out that you were going to use these awesome uh, DMC colors. They're like color variated. How cool is that? So it's 410. This is 410. No, 4010. See there? And this is the 4140. Now, I accident, ex accidentally, by accident, I ordered <laughs> these colors twice, you know, from different places. Oh my God. Then you are ordering too many things if you forget, forget that you or, or that you've already ordered these. And when I looked at the pattern again, because I saw, saw that this one was going to be in the border. And I was like, where in the border? And I was looking and looking and looking and I'm like, I don't find it in the border. Where? <laughs> and then I realized it's in one of the wands and it's not in my wand. So now I have two of these for no use. But you know, maybe for a sampler. Yes. So I'm really looking forward to try these out. And I ordered some more of this beautiful, this is water li lilies and it's one I missed ordering for one of the, let's call them M patterns. It's easier for me to pronounce. And they came in this nice little organza bag. So that's that. Hmm. And I forgot to show you <clears throat> last time. This uh, is a frame you get or you buy for your Mill Hill kit. So it's going to fit perfect in this frame. So I'm actually going to try to frame it myself once I'm done. That's one more purchase. And then, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. My Mirabilia Christmas theme. She's called Miss Christmas Eve and she is so beautiful. And I got that kit from oh, names, names. Yeah, I will link it below. But there you could buy, you can buy kits from, you know, I don't know how they do that, but it seems like you can order kits from older Mirabilia's and yet, then you choose if you want the, f you know, the whole kit, you know, with fabric pattern, DMC threads and silk threads and whatever and beads. And then you can choose differently. So I chose not, you know, the kit without fabric because I've heard that you shouldn't stitch them on a 32 count because of the beads it's hard it's it's difficult to make them fit well on the fabric i don't know but here's the beads oh, my god and you have some it's like two layers of beads look at those greens and there are some treasure i think it's called treasure beads yeah crystal treasures <gasps> oh my god and the purples and the gold look at that oh my god oh my god you see i want to start this no and i have no fabric <laughs> it makes me i don't know disappointed I want some fabric. And I'm getting, you know, a little bit desperate because I don't know where should I order some awesome hand dyed fabric and kind of get it now without, you know, being ripped off by customs. Oh. So for that kit, which I just showed you. 
I got the pattern as well. So for this beautiful lady, you're using these silk threads. <gasps> Whoa. I don't know, are they? I think the color, they're not that strong in color as you see in the camera. Wow. So the purple is African violet. And cardinal, oh, look at that. It's not that strong, but it's beautiful. And then you have grape. Oh, look. Some color variation. Oh, it's beautiful. And sable. Yes, that brown red. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Let's put them back in the bag so I know where I have everything. And then I decided I wanted the DMC kit for it as well. So a lot of Christmas colors. Beautiful, aren't they? Hawkins. Yes, this the place is called Hawkins Hobbies. Great place. Great um, Facebook group as well. She's so beautiful. I so I oh, I really really want to try out. I like the way you know all that pine tree sticks out, and I like how she looks away. And then you know her hat. No, oh, it's so beautiful. So, so that's all in that kit. And the fabric is this, and no, I, I didn't want that. I wanted some hand dyed stuff and 28, 28 count instead of 32. <clears throat> I need to place everything in order. And that black not black friday but black week i got myself a good deal on okay son come here the lorry stand Woo! <laughs> i'm sorry i've been wanting the lorry stand for so long and I was like, no, I have, you know, the millennium frame and the floor stand and everything. No, no, no. But then, yeah, I got some good deal there. And I was like, well, I've saved up money. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it for myself for an early Christmas present. Yes. So that was actually all the things I was going to show you. Uh, these are things I got in since the last episode and my throat is being finished, but I actually received a package today from, it's, it's from Lakeside, Lakeside Needlecraft. And I'm going to, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. You will have to get a long floss tube this time. Whoops. Um, I joined Pain Freeze Stitch Along because it, it costs only 13 pounds. Oh, I love it. So I ordered some fabric for that Stitch Along and she recommended like 28 count. So you're going to stitch that two over two. And I go, I, I will link it again. I will link it down below. Go check out the stitch along on her site. <gasps> Look at this cool fabric. Whoa. 
I think it was called Storm. It's gonna be perfect for that. Uh, it's a fantasy themed stitch along. And she has already released the frame for the pattern. And it's gonna be so cool. Yes. And she released the threads. I need to look into the camera there. Uh, she released the, the floss usage for just the frame. And there were a lot of skeins, skeins there. So I, I realized that my boxes here of threads weren't, weren't gonna be enough. So I actually ordered them. Look at those colors for the frame. I'm thinking dragons. I'm thinking dragons. I think there's going to be dragons in this. And it fell down on the floor. And you have a little... Yeah, some info about the store. And... My new passion... Is samplers. I showed you, I think it was in my first floss tube, I showed you my, um, the ink circle squirrels of Sumatra. And then there's a couple of more of ink circles that I'm like, I gotta have them. But then, I don't know, I was searching for dogs, I think, on Lakeside, uh, the Lakeside uh, homepage. <clears throat> and then I realized there's, there's a company called Long Dogs Samplers, I think. And the samplers they have, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna get ruined. Oh, so this is not the Long Dog. This is another ink circle sampler and it's called the dog's declaration and I love dogs they have a very special place in my heart so this is it oh look at that it's so cute life liberty and the pursuit of squirrels I mean how cool is that and there's so many things going on on this picture. Oh, I, when I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. It says S38 here. What does that mean? Is it like sampler number 38? Or please leave a comment below if you know. If you know. I would really like to know. I like ink circles. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. I love it. Love it. And uh, as I said, when you're doing these samplers, you know, hand dyed fabrics, yes, 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 yes. I wanted a lot more samplers. But, you know, it's Christmas, I've had my car at service, my dog is going to the veterinary, I found a big lump, which I need to find out what's, what's wrong with that. But the long dog sampler I wanted the most was called Death, but it was sold out. And I, have, I think at their uh, web, like, long dog samplers website you can get it as a pdf i would rather want it as a paper pattern because i don't think you can have this in the pattern keeper so i got another one of their samplers which i also like and that one is called 
life after death. So this is it. Wow. I, I love these kinds of um, patterns. They are, I, I, think, I think they're amazing. A lot of work behind those. So it's the life after death and then there's the one which was called death and then there is one is, which is called the pilgrim, I think. Yeah, very, very nice. And they're all stitched in black. I like, I like that. And then you get alphabet and numerals. This, are, are you supposed to do something with that? Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, that was all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my next paycheck, I'm actually thinking of buying another Mirabilia. I want the one that is called red and I want the full kit, but without the fabric. And I found some bluish fabric on uh, Lakeside's homepage, which is a 28 count linen. I'm very curious of stitching on lin linen, actually. <sighs> that was a lot. And I'm sorry, I get so excited, but I get very excited when it comes to cross stitching because, you know, there are so many different uh, ways to stitch and different designs and different kind of categories and you know women it's, there's men also cross stitching so don't I'm not excluding them but I don't think they were doing that years years back so but we have been cross stitching for years and years and years so it's an old traditional craft, I think. And yeah, it makes me relaxed, you know, stitching and either listening to an audiobook, YouTube, or like yesterday I was watching a series on one of these, not Netflix, but uh, Via Plays, a thing we have in Sweden. I don't know if you have it somewhere else and I watched you know a whole season of a very good uh, series it was the Swedish one so uh yeah that's all for today folks I didn't get any time to stitch uh but if you want to find out how I treat uh, the fabric for my supersized uh, it's so big so I don't have a frame you know um, scroll frame for it how do I solve that problem do I stitch in hand do I use a floor stand for it yeah uh, some people are very uh, frightened of starting a heaven and earth because in their world it seems so difficult I would say it's not difficult because you don't have any back stitches. You don't have any special stitches. You, it's just normal full cross stitches. You can tent stitch if you like that, but you, and you stitch with one thread. So you don't have to, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I will show you next time. I ordered a laying tool. You don't even need that. So. The thing that is difficult that it's so big and you don't have to go huge like me there are some quits quick stitches there's the story uh, keepers you know I showed you my finishes last time I think it was 
So, you know, um, take a look at those. It, they, it doesn't have to be big. You don't have to stitch on small count or high count or whatever you call it. You know, there's a way to make it easier. So, yeah. Um, if there's anything special you want to see, um, please leave a comment below. Um, yeah, just give me some feedback. Forget about the negative feedback. I only, you know, I want something that I can work with. So um, if you have any questions, leave them as well, you know, down here in the comments. <laughs> comments, yeah, blah, whatever. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe because then I will see you next time. Um, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.